Hi, my name is Alexander Taves, and I'm the lead developer of Vast Media Player. And you're here because you've just installed the application, and you'd like to know how it works. So let's get started. At the top of the application, you can see the main navigation bar. You can open media, add media to the library, switch between different views of the library, check for an update, seek help, or exit or enter theater mode. So let's go ahead and add some files to our library since it's empty. Click Add Media. Select the files you want to add. Select Add Media to Library. And there you go. Now, there are two different views of the library. The first is Detail, and the second is Tile. So let's go ahead and check out Tile View. So now we're in Tile View, and as you can see, the audio files and video files are rendered as thumbnails. Uh, one of the neatest things about Vast Media Player is you can actually sample the video or audio file by simply hovering the mouse cursor over the thumbnail, and it'll either play the audio or play the video and audio. Once you take the cursor away, it'll stop playing. Put it back in, it resets. So let's go ahead and check out detail view again. You can only edit the contents of the library through detail view. So let's go ahead and edit wildlife in HD. Let's say we want it to say uh, simply wildlife. So make sure it's selected, click it again. Once edited, right click, say save title, and voila. Go back to detail view, and sure enough, it's been changed. So let's go ahead and watch our first video. So now we are in the player mode. As you can see, play, backward, forward, navigation, volume, original size, and full window. And one moment. So now we are in full window mode. And if you resize the video, or player, it will adjust the video accordingly. But if you have it in original size mode, it'll play it at the recommended dimensions. If you enter theater mode, it's full screen. Ah uh, yes, in order to hide the player navigation bar or toolbar, you can simply click the video or click outside the video. Click once, click, click, click twice, and it's back. Okay, open media, pretty straightforward. It opens the default Windows open file dialog, uh, which I'm sure you're all used to. So I'll go into that. Uh, checking for an update, very simple process. Simply click update. Would you like to check for an update? Yes, I would. There's no update available at this time. Uh, seek help, that will take you to this video. And I think that's about it. Uh, you can do dynamic searches or real-time searches. Uh, you don't have to push the search button. As you type the library, um, populates or depopulates, depends on how you want to look at it. So let's type in K. There's only one file with the letter K in it, KA. And let's go ahead and put a KZ. There are no videos that contain uh, KAZ. I think this concludes this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoy Vast Media Player as much as I have enjoyed building it. Have a good one.